Today, I'll be guiding you through a 30 minute full body muscle building workout. If you're a beginner, this one's for you. First off, we've got bicep curls. Start in a standing position with your feet hip width apart. Palms facing out, lift both dumbbells at the same time, keeping your elbows fixed by your side and your body as stable as possible. This is so you can isolate the strength of the movement to your biceps. This exercise targets the short head of your bicep muscle, which basically makes up for the width, so doing these will help grow your arms wider. Tilt forward at the hips, keeping your back straight. Your elbows should be in front of your waist and kept in the same position as you lift. This should put all the focus onto your biceps. For this one, palms should be facing inwards. Hammer curls target the long head of your biceps, which will essentially help increase the height of your biceps. Once again, keep your body stable as you lift. For the last bicep exercise, we'll be lifting wide and narrow. This variation helps grow your biceps from different angles. Stop that. Stop that. Yeah, yeah. I hear them chats in the noise. Move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear them chat with the boys. Man, so tough, but lines keep walking. Yeah. Just too sharp with the prize. White girls better tell me I'm awesome. Yeah. Like fire on the pine. If you want to touch my piece, use caution. Cold like zero degrees. I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast. Revolutionary guy, let out the streets. Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the. Let out the, let out the. Wake up, get out the sheets. We came for one man, forget my peace. You take the west side, take on the east. I'ma put him in a cage, never let out the. Let out the, let out the. Yeah. I hear him chats in the noise. Move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear him chat with the boys. Not so tough, but minds keep talking, yeah. Just too sharp with the prize. White girls, better tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Hot like fire on the pine. If you wanna touch me, I'm please use caution. Beg, please get on your knees. Came from the jungle, up in the trees. I got a few tricks up in the sleeve. One wrong move, I'ma let out the. Let out the, let out the. Big shoes, check out the crease. Blow like I'm big foot, step on the beat. Make a man's rage. Step out the For the first back exercise, drag the dumbbells up to chest height, keeping them parallel to your body. Breathe out as you lift and pause slightly at the top.
Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Yeah, I hear him chat to the noise. Then stop for the talking. I hear him chat with the boys. My guys keep walking, yeah. Dress too sharp with the prize. Let the girl tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Hot like fire on the pine. If you wanna touch my own, please use caution. Tilt forward again, keeping your back straight. With palms facing behind you, lift up with your elbows at a 45 degree angle. Squeeze and exhale at the top. This time round, keep your palms facing inwards and hold for 8 seconds at the top and 2 seconds at the bottom. Remember to keep breathing as you hold this position. Find some floor space and hold one dumbbell above your chest. Move it past your head, keeping your arms locked with a slight bend at your elbows. Hold one dumbbell vertically, letting the weight rest on your palms. Focus on sitting deeply into the squat, so your knees bend past the 90 degree angle. Rather than fully extending at the top, go straight back down before locking out to maintain that tension in your legs. Holding both dumbbells, take one step backwards and bend your knees down until they're both at 90 degrees. Your core should be upright and stable throughout the movement. Push back up and return to the starting position. 
For this one, raise your heels as high as you can and squeeze at the top. This will help engage your calves fully. Start by standing with your feet aligned with your hips and knees slightly bent. Keep the dumbbells close to your body and lower them down so they are in front of your shins. Once they're past the knees, keep your hips fixed. You want to keep a neutral spine and drive through the heels. Lowering closer to the ground helps add an intense contraction in your hamstrings. Place one dumbbell above your head with your elbow pointing upwards. Lower the dumbbell slowly past a 90 degree angle and push the dumbbell back up. Triceps make for about two thirds of your arm size, so training them is pretty important if you want bigger arms. Hinge forward at the hips and keep your upper arms in close to your body. Exhale and straighten out your elbows. Make sure you squeeze at the top of the movement each time. This exercise is perfect for isolating and toning your triceps.
Start with both dumbbells above your chest with your palms facing each other and core engaged. Hinge at the elbows and slowly bring them down just behind your ears. Keep your elbows in the same position throughout. For this one, slowly move the dumbbell past your head without locking out your arms completely. The slower you go, the better the burn will be. Surfing, rocking the parking lot, my weed lighter than like the game, blah blah. I be on her mind like nonstop, yeah. Had a cut the little thought, no time out. Remember smoking blunts with my friends. The seconds a couple of dead, uh, yeah. Lost a lot to the fan. That's the shit got me upset. Better eight than a front of this doggy, I'm smoking with seven. Four, four, I'm a zombie. This the girl, what's she want? These white boys think I'm cocky. My bitch, you're like Mary Poppins. Yo, bitch, you're like an ice. Smoking on killer, I eat a cop. My bitch, drip like Mary Poppins. First off, we're doing the classic chest press but without a bench. Keeping elbows pointing out at a 45 degree angle, drive your palms up and fully lock out at the top. Arch your lower back slightly to help with stability and breathe out as you push up. this one, bring your hips up and place the dumbbells directly above your lower chest. Slowly lower the dumbbells to the side, keeping a slight bend in your arms. Your elbows should be locked in this position throughout, which helps put the majority of the focus onto your chest. Hips back on the floor for this one. Keep the dumbbells close to each other and palms facing inwards. And once again, breathe out as you push up.
Get into a standing position and raise each dumbbell to shoulder height, keeping a squeeze in your chest. The key here is to keep your elbows in a fixed position, slightly bent, and drive up with your palms. Keep your body stable throughout. Bring both dumbbells up above your shoulders in a neutral grip. Drive them up so that you almost lock out at the top. Keeping a slight bend in your arms, raise both dumbbells out to the side and up to shoulder height. Breathe out sharply as you reach the top. Hinge forward at the hips for this one and mimic the same motion we did on the previous exercise. This exercise targets the rear side of your shoulders. Right, this one targets the front side of your shoulders. Lift up to shoulder height and remember to breathe out sharply at the top.
Place the dumbbells in front of you and curl up your wrist towards you. This exercise is great for your forearms but also helps improve grip strength. Starting with palms facing towards you, lift up each dumbbell keeping your elbows fixed beside you. Your palms should be facing out at the top of the movement. This one's great for building up the size of your forearms. Place both dumbbells out away from your body and mimic the wrist curl action we did before, making sure you squeeze at the top of each movement. Right, last one. Bring both dumbbells out in front again and rotate them 180 degrees and then back to starting position. Keep the dumbbells elevated to maintain the tension in your forearms. 